it's been quite a while since my last video. It's because I've been researching teas quite extensively. And as uh, British, people, British people, we are quite big on drinking tea. Now, there is a lot to consider with tea, as well as different types of tea. So we, again, we're big on our English breakfast tea, but also we like herbal teas, we like fruit teas, we like teas with lots of different properties, such as teas that'll help us with sleep, teas that'll help with immune system, and teas that'll help with symptoms of colds and stuff. Um, and in terms of sustainability, there's a lot to consider. So there's packaging, carbon footprint, um, fair trade, sustainability, if um, pesticides are used, if it's grown in a renewable fashion, and by that I mean, are they using the same land again, or are they putting too much pesticides on, too much artificial, artificial fertilizers that make the ground unviable, so they then have to cut down more natural land to grow more tea. Um, a lot of teas are grown abroad, usually in developing countries, and this is why fair trade is very important. Um, Yorkshire tea and I think it's Tetley tea grow their teas in various parts of Asia. PG Tips grow them in Kenya, I believe. Um, I've written it down somewhere, I'll let you know as soon as I pass over it. Um, <clears throat> so Another thing to consider are tea bags. Tea bags, tea bags usually have microplastics in. Um, although a lot of brands are now moving away from microplastics in their tea bags, uh, microplastics are bad for us. They're also bad for the environment as well. Um, even though we can put them in our compost, um, it's still they're still not great. Um, so moving away from microplastics in the tea bags that does then also mean extra resources have to be used um so again that's growing resources that we may not necessarily have the land or space for just to make tea bags and therefore loose leaf tea might be the better option however there has to be a compromise here as a lot of the tea bags that are more sustainable tend to be more um expensive as well and also not widely available so i did my research on um ethical consumer um their top brands are tradecraft tradecraft steambergs cafe direct and london tea they go above and beyond their fair trade uh, standards these are also companies that I have never heard of. I've looked, they're not available in my small town either. They're not available in the towns next to me either. Um, so, and they're probably going to be quite expensive. Hampstead Tea is another one that rated quite well. I believe it rated a 17 out of 20. Um, so just to reiterate, ethical. I use Ethical Consumer. They rate everything on a scale um, up to 20. Um, so the two brands to stay away from are Tetley and the specialty tea brand Tea Pigs. And this is because one of the major reasons they are involved with the sales of arms to uh, unpleasant regimens um, or regimes, as well as there being other aspects. This um, Yorkshire tea, a famous favourite in at least northern parts of England and particularly in Yorkshire, rated a 10.5 out of 20. The, it's probably one of the best that you can get in terms of ethics, affordability and availability. Um, Tetsley rated a 6.5 and PG Tips, which I switched to, rated a 1. I switched to PG Tips because loose leaf Yorkshire tea comes in a foil bag. It comes in a very small foil bag as well, so you don't get a lot. Um, this didn't come with cellophane wrapped around it when you opened it. The seal was a paper seal um, with just a bit of glue holding it in place. Now, the glue is probably the most unsustainable part of this packaging, but it rated a one on ethical consumer. So once that's done, I won't be drinking it anymore. Um, another one that I do also have is Twining's English Breakfast. I got this from a refill shop to cut out pla uh, packaging altogether. There aren't really any refill shops selling loose leaf tea in my area. I got this pre-lockdown um, in the next town over. I was there for other reasons as well. Um, but Twining's rate a two on ethical consumer. 
Then one of my other favourites is Pucker Herbs. So I like drinking the nighttime tea as I sometimes struggle with sleeping. I've been drinking it for a lot of years. Um, the other thing to consider with um, herbal teas and fruit teas and specialty teas is they're individually packed. This packaging is also plastic lined. It can be recycled, but as we know, only about 9% of our recycling is actually recycled. Although that is probably less since China closed their borders to our recycling. Um, so these three teas, which I thought, PG tips I switched to because I thought I was doing good. Twinings, I thought, refill tea, I'm doing good. Turns out I'm not. And this also shows that I'm not perfect. I learn a lot during this page. I do my research before I do personally videos up. Um, that is, like I say, that's why this has taken me such a long time because I've trying, I've been trying and trying and trying to look for some of the most ethical brands of tea. Um, so Clipper Tea, they rated a 10, so only 0.5 less than York tea. I don't know what the packaging is like inside the box yet. Um, in my town, I can only get tea bags. I can't get loose leaf tea and I may consider trying it. Um, but Clipper Tea uh, is grown organically. Um, the tea bags are non-bleached. 98% of their factory waste is recycled. Factories are carbon neutral and waste tea is used to generate energy. So that's pretty good really. Um, like I say, I don't know what the inner packaging is like on Clipper Tea, but they do come in a cardboard box. It's not wrapped in cellophane. One of the things I don't like about Yorkshire Tea is their overuse of cellophane packaging and plastic packaging. Um, that's why I stopped drinking them. Um, so there are a couple of brands of tea that aren't rated on ethical consumer and do grow them in the UK. So one that I found was Trigothnan Tea. Um, I will post a link of this uh, later. The tea bags are made from cornstarch. It's from a Scottish tea garden. You can buy the tea leaves or you can buy an actual tea plant from them um, and grow your own. The company started in 2016 and they use natural methods as much as possible. So that's probably better than some of the other tea brands such as Yorkshire Tea, PG Tips and Tetley. Um, like I say, they weren't raised on ethical consumer, probably because they are such a small company at the moment. Um, whether they'll be rated on ethical consumer in years to come, we'll find out. Um, and as I said, Hampstead Tea did rate 17 out of 20. Uh, the product, the positive scores were for product sustainability and company ethos. So that means that they're probably fair trade. Um, I don't really have anything else left to say on these. Um, it was a dev devastating experience um, going through this. I will keep you updated. And also, if anyone does have a subscription to Ethical Consumer and can look, I don't have a subscription, so I can't look into the scores as to why they've rated good or why they've rated bad. Um, obviously, Ethical Consumer can reveal quite a lot about a company. Um, as Clipper T have reported that they're growing organically, they recycle 98% of their factory waste um, and they use their waste tea to generate energy but they still only scored a 10. I can't look into reasons why they scored a 10 but if you do have a subscription to Ethical Consumer and you can look into that for me for some of the tea brands that have been mentioned it'd be great if you could post in the comments as to why some of these teas rate good, why some of these teas rate badly um, and you can either yeah put it in the comments or private message me and I can post it later to let others know. Um, so I will, yeah, keep me updated if you do have any best tea brands to drink. Um, remember, sustainability isn't about one person doing it perfectly. It's about a lot of us doing what we can um, to the best of our abilities. As I say, with tea, a lot of it is about we have to make a compromise for what's available and what's affordable. So for me, this will be Yorkshire tea or Clipper tea that I will start looking into getting um, once I finish my PG tips and my twinings. Um, just because that these are unsustainable, 
I have already bought these. The, more, the most sustainable thing for me to do is to finish these first so that there is no waste or, or as little waste as possible um, and then move on to a more sustainable brand. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, my next topic will either be on hot chocolate or coffee. I've not decided which one yet. Hopefully it won't be as painstaking as this, but I'm not much of a coffee drinker and I don't know a lot about hot chocolate either in terms of sustainability as I don't drink a lot of that either. So hopefully it'll be easier, but we will find out together. <laughs> Thanks for watching and goodbye.